Good morning. Uh, my name is Dwayne Parrish. I'm the director of South Carolina Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. Um, thank you all for being here the, this morning for this important, really, sports announcement to highlight South Carolina and the sport of golf. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to our governor, Governor Henry McMaster. Governor? Thank you, Dwayne Parrish. <clears throat> well, this is a happy day indeed. Uh, we're delighted to be here uh, for this announcement. South Carolina is a wonder to behold. That is what the explorers said over the years, centuries ago, as they were exploring the new world and reporting back to the kings and the queens. Fertile land from the mountains to the upstate to the low countries, marshes, and everything in between sea islands and beaches. And that, that's one of the reasons for our prosperity and success in South Carolina is what nature has given us. Our people are diverse, hardworking, and share a fascinating history filled with challenges and successes. It's our obligation and privilege to build upon the gifts bestowed upon this state to provide prosperity and security for generations of South Carolinians to come, and that is what we are doing today. No state, no state promises more opportunities for the development of youthful talent and intellectual capital than South Carolina does right now. In just two years, we've announced over $13.5 billion in new investment in our state. And from those investments alone, 45,000, almost 46,000 new jobs. So we need to have our young people ready to enter this successful arena. Our future prosperity requires that our young people be ready to work, to learn, to lead a business, build a family, and otherwise make positive contributions to their communities and to their country. So as you know, South Carolina has a strong history of competition and achievement, including in sports, athletics, and including great golf and successful tournaments. So today I'm pleased to announce that in June 2021, South Carolina will be hosting a third PGA tour event, three in a row. The Heritage first will take place in April at Harbor Town in Hilton Head, as it has for years. Then the PGA Championship will return to Ocean Course on Kiowa Island in May. And now the Palmetto Championship at Congaree will be held in June at the Congaree Golf Club in Jasper County. This is great progress, and I expect that we will be seeing ourselves on television, in advertisements, in sports channels, wall to wall, during the entire time of those three months. This presents our state, our people, with a lifetime opportunity, one that will not happen again. We have the opportunity to tell the South Carolina success story in a new way to new people and showcase our state and its successes to the world. The Congaree Golf Club course has been described <clears throat> as one of the world's most challenging and best designed courses. And with the philanthropic mission of the Congaree Foundation, it embodies the best of South Carolina and her people. This foundation provides young people in need of educational, vocational, and other opportunities with instruction and opportunities in golf aimed at developing the skills and leadership qualities necessary for future employment and success and leadership. This endeavor has been enormously successful and the impact on the Ridgeland community and Jasper County has been tremendous as will its impact on our state and we hope the country by its example. I am confident that you will not find anything like the Congaree Golf Club anywhere in the world. I'm also confident that this unique and magnificent opportunity will benefit our state for many years to come. As you're aware, our state's hospitality industry and small businesses, which rely on tourism, were particularly hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic. By seizing this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and sponsoring a third PGA Tour event in 2021 in South Carolina, the state of South Carolina will be helping those small businesses in the hospitality industry 
just as we did last year with the CARES Act relief grants and as I proposed in my executive budget for this year. So this is a rare opportunity to showcase our state, to show the world, to show the country, and to show those of us who in South Carolina who are so proud of our state and our people just how great things are here in South Carolina and the best is yet to come. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pamela Lackey, and I'm an ambassador at the Congaree Golf Club. Uh, I'm so, thank you, Governor, for those great remarks uh, we just had in this wonderful announcement. We're so excited about it. South Carolina has been my home for over 50, 40 years. Uh, it seems like 50, but it's over 40 for sure. I'm, I'm an old woman. Uh, I love this state. I love our people. And I love how proud we all are of this beautiful place that we live in. As Governor McMaster uh, noted, this tour championship is an incredible way to showcase the Palmetto State and all we have to offer our citizens, our visitors, and those who do business here. We truly are open for business. It's an honor to introduce the world to one of America's finest golfing treasures, the Congaree Golf Club. But in, in just a few short years, Congaree has established itself as one of the best courses in the country and has earned some of the sport's top honors already. But the number one story I want to share today is about the visionary approach our founder, Dan Friedkin, set out to, cre uh, to create in the Low Country with his friend, Bob McNair. Congaree was built on a new philanthropic idea that unites ambassador members with a shared purpose to positively impact the lives of young people, both here in South Carolina and around the globe. And we do that by providing educational and vocational opportunities through the game of golf. From the worldwide impact of the Congaree Global Golf Initiative to providing time, manpower, and resources to valuable community organizations like the Boys and Girls Club and the Low Country Food Bank, for example, Congaree is charting a new path for the sport that we all love. It is our hope that over the coming months, everyone will enjoy getting to know more about Congaree. It's a great day to be a South Carolinian indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning again. You know, we, South Carolina has always been known for beaches and golf. Um, what a wonderful time this is for us in, in this present time period. We are known for that because we have over 300 golf courses in South Carolina, um, some of the finest in the world and in the country. And we're blessed this spring to sort of showcase those. We have the RBC Heritage taking place in, in just in a couple of weeks, actually in April. We have the PGA Championship uh, presented by the PGA of America taking place at Kiowa. Uh, we also nationally broadcast on CBS. And then today we're announcing the Palmetto Championship at Congaree. Also will be nationally broadcast on CBS television along with the Golf Channel on Thursday and Friday. Golf has added such a quality of life to our state for our citizens and visitors alike. If you think about golf during this time period of the pandemic, it has been one of the bright spots that has taken place. Golf has had a renaissance during this time period. Number of rounds of golf in South Carolina since June of last year has had double digit growth every month. I cannot think of a better time where the stars and the moon of the golf world have aligned to allow us to showcase golf in this state throughout this time period with those tournaments. And then the same weekend, we're also blessed to have the BMW Charity Pro-Am presented by Cinex to take place also on the Golf Channel in Greenville that weekend. So we will be the top of the golf world this weekend. This is a big deal for us. This allows us to play with some of the larger states that we haven't been able to before because we're a small state still, but we have a lot to offer with from the mountains to the sea, and golf is a big part of that. I want to thank everyone from the PGA Tour for the RBC Heritage, you know, a year that's in its 53rd year now, taking place at Hilton Head in a few weeks. Um, the PGA Championship welcoming back once again from 2012 and again this year to showcase golf in South Carolina, and now the Palmetto Championship to be able to take place here. Um, from the tourism standpoint, for us, it's all about heads in the beds and feet in the fairways. And this is one more thing that puts us over that to be able to do that. Lastly, I want to finish with you take a close look at the logo behind me of the, of the uh, Palmetto Championship at Congaree. You'll notice that the tips of the leaves of the palmetto tree are actually the tips of the leaves of a maple leaf. Um, that is a nod to our friends with the, RBC, with the RBC Canadian Open and a nod to our friends in Canada. The Can-Am days have been taking place in Myrtle Beach since the 1960s. They're an important part of our tourism com component. We're, we consider it an honor to fill in this week and actually help out the PGA Tour and the Canadians to be able to showcase golf. 
uh, not only on a weekly basis on the tour, but in the great state of South Carolina. So with that, I want to represent um, Representative Cedron Williams, who District 122, with which Congaree Golf Club lies within. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to say it's definitely an honor to be here and to be a part of this great announcement today. House District 122 would like to say thanks for the consideration of this great opportunity. The Congaree is one of, if not the best course that I've ever seen. It's very challenging. It's been a very great commitment and contribution to the House District 122, particularly the Jasper County area. We have over 200 students who have actually gotten into golfing, mostly females, since the inception of the programs. Not only just learning the game of golf, Congaree will definitely enhance the economic development in our area. It's gonna teach children, our students, our future leaders about finance, owning your own business, and working with the world. <clears throat> this is gonna be one of the biggest things that have happened in our area. <clears throat> Recently, the governor and I announced 10 new jobs coming to the Riverport, <clears throat> which is the industrial area, and also within just 20 minute ride, Hampton County, 1,500 jobs. It's gonna all come together as a big flourishing flower. And just know that there's great people, there's a lot of beautiful land and enjoyment in the low country. And we look forward to working with all of you all. And we want you to continue to support this great state, the greatest state in the United States, South Carolina. Thank you. Are there any questions? Questions, questions. Yes, sir. Maybe a question for Mr. Parrish. Uh, Sorry, can you repeat the last part? Well, with this tournament, we're actually, with our sponsorship, we are, um, we're, we're getting 16 television spots on CBS Channel on Saturday and Sunday, 16 spots on the Golf Channel on Thursday and Friday. Um, that is the big buy for us. From the tourism perspective, that's where we have a chance to sort of showcase our state and sort of play with larger states. In my time, in my 10 years here, we've not had a, this opportunity to invest in something, this, in this, quite frankly, on a national basis like this. But this is where a chance to sort of showcase what golf is in South Carolina. Does that answer? Uh, I guess as far as uh, the dollar on the state is investing to uh, bring the tournament here, how does that compare to uh, what it's cost for the past tournament? Well, so our investment, not only bringing the golf tournament here, but also as our sponsorship in, in the national television adver advertising is where the majority of the cost comes from. In regard to other, um, the RBC Heritage has been here, as I mentioned earlier, for 53 years now. The um, PGA Championship in 2012 and the PGA Championship now in 2021, um, we've, we've been very involved and we have, a, we have a sponsorship there, but it's much, much smaller. But we don't have direct advertising for the state of South Carolina within those. But we obviously, they do showcase golf in South Carolina. Well, much like the RBC Heritage and the PGA Championship, the attendance is limited, but it will still be much more than you've seen, at least at this point so far, on the, on the tour and on the PGA of America's other, other events. But, you know, um, this brings in, we anticipate this will bring in over a $50 million economic impact for the state, majority of which will take place in that part of the state, or the low country as it's known. So, you know, as far as the actual dollar amount, we anticipate at least that. And that's based on the 2019 study done by Clemson, the RBC Heritage. Its economic impact was $102 million in 2019 dollars. So we anticipate the pandemic having about an effect of roughly half of what it would normally be. Given, as you said, Director, that this is an opportunity that you've never really had to, to be able to compete on the national level, how did it come about? Why is it coming to South Carolina instead of London? Well, I think it came to South Carolina, you know, it, and I'll let um, Pamela speak to this. Congaree Golf Club is, was, uh, I say, making a bid for the uh, um, was making a bid for the uh, President's Cup for 2026, 
but actually went, to, went somewhere else. But that sort of put Congaree at the forefront of the PGA Tour. You want to take anything else you want to add to that? No, I, I think Mr. Parrish answered that well. Um, the, we had been working with the PGA Tour on the possibility of having a tournament at Congaree, and it was the um, President's Cup for 2020. Five, it's now 26 because of COVID. Uh, so they were aware of what the possibilities were. They were aware of the, the uh, potential that the course had for hosting such a large event like this, a uh, significant event. And so they came back and said, would you be willing to fill in this, um, fill in this week? Just to, just to clarify, will this be a recurring championship event for them, or is it just the one time? No, it will return as the RBC Canadian Open in 2022. This is a one-year one year thing. And that emphasizes why this is such a rare opportunity. These funds will have been budgeted and were sitting there for sports marketing. And this is sports marketing on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have all the heads on television. Everybody, the whole golf world will be tuned in. And not only will they see great competition and great golf and a lot of young people who, who have, have grown and prospered because of the, the effort of the Congaree Foundation, but they also see some beautiful landscapes and some peace and tranquility and things that uh, they may not even realize exist and they're right here in South Carolina. So we are, as the Director Parrish said, we are, we're showcasing South Carolina to the world because everyone interested in golf is going to be watching, that's for sure. And that's a lot of folks. Any more questions? Yes. For uh, an influx of people, whether it's preparing a golf club or making sure there's enough lodging for people to stay near that area. Okay. Uh, well, obviously, Congaree is very busy, which is why I'm the one person here today. Everybody's very busy getting ready for the tournament, and um, in in looking at the potential for the Presidents Cup. Uh, at that time, and I know Director Parrish has a lot more detailed information on this, there, there are lots and lots and lots of hotel rooms and other available accommodations in that area that are just as close to Congaree as for the heritage. Uh, so we aren't worried about people having a place to stay. Yeah, um, in regard to, yeah, places to eat and drink, you know, if you look at Kiowa Island, it's an hour from Charleston, essentially. Within an hour of Congaree, the Congaree Golf Club is Hilton Head, Buford, Bluffton, and the like. Um, and it's really close, and even Savannah. Where, where's Savannah? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, but if you look, it's just off Interstate 95, so it's not uh, far away. And we anticipate, you know, people are, are sort of willing to do that. They do that now, as I mentioned earlier, at Kiowa. They do that now for in the Heritage to a large degree, because not everyone can stay at Sea Pines even during the Heritage. Other questions? For the limited guests that you said can go and purchase the watch, will the COVID guidelines still be in place that they would have to wear masks? They will. They'll be there. Yeah, the PGA Tour has mandated protocols that they're, they're apply also for the for the uh, RBC Heritage. They will also apply for the P, for the uh, Palmetto Championship at Congaree as well, as does the PGA Tour with the um, PGA Championship. Okay. Well, you all, thank you very much.